Welcome to this mindful movement practice. This practice is designed to help you ignite your creative force and alight your creative energy. Coming onto a comfortable seat, you can sit on the floor with your legs crossed, kneeling, or you can even sit in a chair. So coming into a seat that's comfortable for you. Taking a moment to situate yourself in the space. And here I have my palms face down on my thighs. I'm closing my eyes and taking a moment to tune in. A moment to tune into how I'm feeling. And in this moment, I'm feeling called to flip my left palm up. The left side is where our creative energy resides and I want palm up to be in more of a receptive space, a more receiving mode. Continuing to breathe without judgment, without critique, noticing the breath, noticing my inhales and exhales. And as we practice together, you might begin to notice different sensations in the body, in your system. If your mind is busy, you can always bring the mind to the present moment by focusing on the breath. You may even choose to notice if you're inhaling and exhaling more out of one nostril than the other. Opening the eyes now, dropping the chin down to the chest, and then beginning some slow neck rolls here. Rolling from one side to the other, inhaling as you lift up to the side, exhaling as you lower the chin to the chest. Inhaling ear to shoulder, exhaling, dropping the chin to the chest. Inhaling up to the other side, exhaling, dropping that chin to your chest. Repeating this with your own breath matching the movement with your inhales and exhales, moving as quickly or slowly as your system is asking you for. Noticing if there are any areas of tension that as you exhale, if you can let those go just a little bit more. And if you want to stay on one side for a little while longer, by all means do so. Here we're beginning to listen to what the body needs, bringing everything back to center, bringing the head up, and then beginning some shoulder rolls, inhaling as you lift up, exhaling as you roll down and back. Again, matching this movement on your own time with your own breath. And in this practice, tuning into the sensation of this circular motion here, creating that circular motion in the shoulders. When you're ready, switching the direction of the shoulder rolls. So if you were moving back before, beginning to bring the shoulders up and forward, and if you were moving forward, moving the shoulders up and back. Taking a moment now to situate yourself once again, recommitting to your seat, inhaling to lift the chest and chin up, and then exhaling, drawing back, rounding the back, inhaling to lift chest and chin, exhaling, drawing navel towards spine as you round the back, inhaling to lift, exhaling to round the back, straightening the arms, inhaling to lift, exhaling to draw everything back. So again, creating almost the circular flow as you do that movement as many times as is comfortable for you. And now if you're seated up on something coming off of that, and if you had your legs crossed, I encourage you to cross them the other way now. Beginning to make some slow circles, moving the chest forward and back. This is a very circular practice, a very flowing practice. We want to tune into that flowing creative energy. And in order to do that, we want to invite flow into the body. And one way to do that is with circular movement. Here I'm making the circles bigger. You can make them as big 
or small as you like, moving in one direction, spiraling around the pelvis, inviting the heart back and forward. And then when you're ready, moving in the opposite direction, knowing that this direction might feel different than the first. Making these circles so that the base of the body also has the opportunity to move and respond. This is a very organic flow. Nothing is too rigid here. So moving as much or as little as you like and allowing the system to respond in any way it needs to. From here, coming on to hands and knees if that's accessible to you. If it's not, you can always bring the hands to a chair if you're standing. Here, I'm going to tuck my toes, but you can also untuck them, so your choice. And then grounding down through the hands. And if you have sensitive wrists, you can always make a fist and work with your fists, either on the chair or on the floor. Placing the hands underneath the shoulders. And then when you're ready, beginning to make some circles once again, dropping the belly toward the floor and then rounding the back. So taking that movement that we were doing while we were seated, and then just bringing it onto hands and knees, or if you're standing, standing with your feet grounded into the earth with hands on a chair. Again, we're inviting this circular motion, warming up the spine, moving around the spine. And here, really feeling into the movement of not only the shoulders and upper body, but also the pelvis. When you're ready, switching the direction, knowing that the new direction might feel different than the first side you did. And allowing the experience to unfold as it wants to. So the head might become involved, the legs and feet might move or shift, you might need to shift on your hands. And then from there, I'm going to begin to make circles with the hips. So moving the hips in a circular motion back toward my heels and then forward toward my hands. And again, allowing this movement to not only flow with the breath, but also to flow with your body's own energy, your body's own intuition, how fast or slow, how big or small this movement is, is completely up to you. So tuning into what your system is asking for when you're ready, moving in the opposite direction. Once again, knowing that this direction might feel different than the first direction did. Again, we're inviting that flow into the system, that flow into the body, the head might be involved. Again, the legs and feet might shift. You'll feel the hands shift their connection with the floor or the chair. And then sending the hips back for a moment to rest and breathing into the back body, breathing into the back of the pelvis. And if you're standing, an option here to simply rise to a standing position, bringing your hands off the chair. Coming back on the hands and knees here. And then in whatever way is comfortable for you, coming to stand in a forward fold. So once again, the hands can come to a chair. And here, I have my knees bent a lot. I'm resting my front body on my upper thighs. Invitation to you to do the same. And then inhaling the arms up and over the head. Releasing the arms down by your sides. Coming to stand in a comfortable position. I have my feet hip width apart here. And then I'm going to begin to make big circles with the arms, allowing my body to respond. I'm moving the arms back in space. These circles can be as big or as small as you like. Inhaling as you lift, exhaling as the arm comes down. And then when you're ready, reversing the direction. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's simply allowing your body to move into its own flow. Allowing your body to move into its own creative force. And then dropping one hand down to the side and then the other allowing flow into the upper body as the lower body becomes a bit more stable. So allowing this energy to move up from the base of the body up to the top through the crown of the head. Coming to stand on your own two feet, tapping into how the body feels. 
maybe you place hands on your heart or one hand on your heart, one hand on your low belly and taking a moment to tune in and breathe once again, noticing the rhythm of your breath, noticing your heartbeat, Noticing where you feel energy flowing. Knowing that you're going to have your own experience with this mindful movement practice. With so much gratitude, thank you for joining me. Stay ignited out there. I'll see you soon.